Recording in progress. Hey, good morning. Welcome back to JPCE Spiritual Talk. It's Jared Campbell. So this morning, pleasing God, pleasing others. It's going to be a really quick video this morning. It's a busy day. I'm just going to read from the devotional. And we're going to get out of here this morning. Thank you all so much. We'll start out in opening prayer in the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Shine to hearts, O loving Master, with the pure light of your divine knowledge, and open the eyes of our mind, that we may understand your teachings in Scripture. Help us to apply what we learn, so after having conquered simple desires, we may pursue a spiritual way of life. Thank you, doing all things that are pleasing to you. Your Christ, our God, you are light, and to you we give glory. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, now and forever, and sages. Amen. Lord is our shepherd. All right, good morning. Welcome back. So raise his faithfulness. Indeed, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. So I took a picture this morning. Everybody can follow along. This will be a really quick, quick video. Don't have a whole lot of time this morning to get in to this, so we're just going to do the devotional. Thank you all for coming back, following. It means a lot. All right, so here's our devotional. Start out the reading from Galatians chapter 1. Verse 10, in the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. So pleasing God, pleasing others. Or am I now trying to win the favor of people or God? Or am I trying to please people? If I were trying to please people, I would not be a slave of Christ. Galatians chapter 1, verse 10, in the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. At times, you'll have to make a choice between pleasing God and pleasing those around you. For God's ways are not man's ways. Isaiah chapter 55, verses 8 through 9. As important as it is to strive for good relationship with others, it's even more important to maintain a steadfast and obedient relationship with Christ. Disobeying God to keep peace with other people is never wise. Peace with God is always paramount. Jesus warned that obeying him might cause divisions in your relationships. Matthew chapter 10, verses 35 through 36. If Paul's primary goal had been to please others, he would never have become an apostle of Jesus Christ. Paul went completely against the wishes of his colleagues in order to obey Christ. At times, obedience to God sets family members at odds with each other. Matthew chapter 10, verse 35 through 36. When you follow Jesus' lordship, your family may misunderstand or even oppose you. Yet your obedience to God reflects your identity as his child. Jesus said that those who obey him, that those who obey his will are his brothers and sisters. Luke chapter 8, verse 21. God does not intend to divide the home, but he places obedience before domestic harmony. It's important to get alone in quietness with God so that you understand what pleases him. The world's thinking will mislead you more easily when you are not clear about what God desires. It broke Peter's heart to know that the opinion of a servant girl had mattered more to him than the approval of his Lord. A desire to appease others tempts you to compromise what you know God wants you to do. Learn from Peter's mistake. Determine that you will please the Lord regardless of the opinions of others. In the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Another beautiful reading, another beautiful reflection. So true. We should live to please God and not others. And we should live to preach the truth, teach the truth of God's word, and not have a watered-down version that sounds good. Right? Do not teach and preach a gospel right, that is truth mixed with lies, or to make it sound good, right? but instead teach the truth of God's word, right? When we teach God's word, we shouldn't be about subscriptions and likes, right? Should be about trying to please others. That's not what I'm about. I show you guys the word each and every day. Right? You can learn. I don't have time to get into some of this, but I will post this to my how, how I see it, my original website. This is what I would have got into today if I had more time, but I will post those with the notes for all the, the Bible verses that were mentioned and today's devotional right there. I'll post them to how I see it. I will show everybody how I see it page, all right, before we close out. So here's how I see it. All right. So if you go to how I see it dot info, right, so how I see it dot info. And I post a lot of my studies right here, right? And I take pictures of all the notes and I post it there. So I'll drop a link into the description box. Like I said, another beautiful reading, another beautiful, another beautiful reflection. Live 
to be obedient to God, to please him and not others. That is probably the most important thing is that we live to serve him, to please him and not to please others, not to water down the gospel, not to preach a different gospel, teach a different gospel, but the one that is in the Bible is the one that we teach. And we should not please others. Our ministry should not be to please others, but to please our Lord. And that's all I have this morning. Thank you all so much for following. All right, I'm back. I'm gonna close out in prayer. Thank you all so much for following. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Oh, Lord God, you spoke us through divine seeking words. You illuminate the souls of sinners that comprehend what we just read. And we don't appear simply as hear spiritual words, but doers of good deeds, true pursuers of faith. Having a blameless life and conduct without reproach in Christ your Lord, you are alive to you, be your glory. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, the sages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, how to be thy name. Thy kingdom come, they will be done, earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses. Forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Yours, the kingdom, the power, the glory, the Father, and the Son, Holy Spirit, now and forever, the sages. Amen. Chair Wesley Campbell, good morning, good day, whenever and however these messages find you all. Love you all so much. JPCE Spiritual Talk, never ever hold back. Right? Seek truth. I love you all so much. I'm out. May, may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be merciful to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Love you all so much. I'm out.